welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer Vatza of Belladonna's Botanicals. Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit because a common question I've been getting recently um, from some newer practitioners and ones from different um, traditions is how to use ritual baths because I make lots of ritual bath products and this is a new one that's going to be coming out soon either before or slightly after this video depends on the product release to video editing ratio. Um, this is a Lotus Dreamer one, which is really nice. Um, so a lot of times I get questions on how do I use this? So what I usually recommend with spiritual baths is, now I take them regularly, and each pouch has about five ounces uh, weight-wise of salt sometimes, and herbs and whatever else is in there. So usually what I do, depending on the circumstances, um, for a normal bath, I put in a tablespoon or two, um, just because I do it regularly. Um, obviously, it's much easier for me because I make this stuff. I have tons of salt. In fact, I just ordered about 200 pounds of salt yesterday. <laughs> so, or maybe the day before. I don't know. But there's really nothing you need to do to prep to prepare this before you put it directly in the bath. I get questions about, do I need to boil this and blah, 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 blah. I know there's some, um, I've seen them at Botanica's and some metaphysical shops where there's um, it's usually just like an herb kind of blend where you boil it first and then you put it in the tub. These don't need this. They're ready to go. Um, I just put them in the tub. Now, normally for a normal bath, normal situation, if this is a regular practice for you, I'll put in a tablespoon at a time, a tablespoon or two at a time, depending. Um, sometimes if I really need it, because there are ones that have more ritual intentions, this, the Lotus Dreamer one would be great, like, you know, to relax before going to bed. Um, Lotus has a lot of entheogenic properties to it. So if you want to do like lucid dreaming or astral travel, this would be a nice preparatory for that. So, but whereas something for like say protection or like a road opener ritual, you might want to use the whole bag at the same time and put it in the tub. I've done that with like the energy cleansing and like uncrossing ones, um, just because sometimes, especially if you feel like you're being you know, you, you've really got like a negative energy attached to you or if someone's magically attacking you or something like that, you might feel like you need to use the whole bag. And usually what I did say is go with your intuition. If you feel like you need to dump that whole bag in or two bags or whatever, <laughs> go for it. Um, now I will caution that depending on what is in each of, of the ritual baths and the ingredients are all in there and you can also kind of tell by the color of them. Um, the ones that contain black lava salt, which is like the uncrossing one, um, Lucifer, Lilith, and the Starte ones, maybe another one or two. But the black lava salt is gonna leave a residue on your tub now. Don't worry, after you're done with your bath, you'll j just get like a sponge or even like a washcloth and you know, just rinse it, just wipe it down and it's fine. So, um, that's one thing to consider is with those particular ones. Now, sometimes, especially um, if you're doing like a heavy energy cleansing, and that would be something like the ener energy cleansing bath salts or cleansing Florida water, even the uncrossing ones, um, you might feel a little like woozy afterwards. Like I know I do a, I do a blend of salts. I usually use like Dead Sea salt, um, Himalayan salt and Epsom salt. I go a little lighter on the Epsom salt because I noticed for myself if I just took a cup of Epsom salt and put it in the bathtub, by the time I get out, I'm ready to pass out and I'm nauseous and I don't feel great because it's, it's you're purifying not only yourself in a magical sense, but also in a literal physiological sense. So you're kind of flushing a lot of impurities and toxins out of your system. So you might feel a little, a little woozy afterwards. So that's the nuts and bolts of it. Now, when you take a ritual bath, really there's no, there's no set prescribed, you know, number of things you need to do in order to receive the benefit from it. So what you, you know, if you want to do a crystal meditation, you want to burn candles, you want to do any kind of, you know, sometimes I'll bring my phone in and have a guided meditation on there or some kind of ambient music. Those are all things that you can do. And whatever you feel called to do, if you feel called to say a prayer, invocation, um, you know, statement of intention, you know, especially if like you're doing something like 
with the like I'm crossing one like you know I you know release this negative energy from myself again I tend when I do any kind of ritual work I tend to speak extemporaneously so I don't use a lot of set prepared you know ritual incantations or texts or, or prayers or things like that but if you do that's fine um that's really just what I recommend with that so you don't need to boil it you can use I, and I always put it as desired you can use a couple tablespoons you can use the whole bag um you know just keep in mind that it is going to make your tub messy so if you do use the whole bag you're gonna have a pretty messy tub afterwards so um yeah and you can add to that whatever you want to do whether it's music you want to turn the lights off and meditate you want to have a glass of wine in the bathtub and relax um those are all valid ways and whatever you feel drawn to do drawn to do in your practice when you're taking a ritual bath like it's just so ingrained in me that i because i usually whenever i take a lot of baths i i don't take as many showers as i do baths so um and even if i take a shower sometimes i'll take a bath later <laughs> or before it um because i'm just like that so i have that kind of built into my daily practice so it's just part of what i do so there are times in which i will do something very specific with them but for me it just becomes part of a daily practice that you know you don't have to wait until your energy is you know imbalanced or you're not you know you're just feeling off or something like that just you know use a little bit every day or once or twice a week uh, you know whenever you take a bath and if you don't have a bathtub have a cheat code for you so what you can do if you only have a shower stall, because I live in the city and I know um, people have this, is if you take any kind of little like an organza bag, a muslin tea bag, something like that, put this, you can put the salts in there. This is a small one. I would use a little bigger of a bag. And then you can kind of hang it from your shower head above, above you. So you're getting kind of the, the bath uh, washing over you. Now, you can submerge yourself in the tub as well when you're taking a bath. That's fine. Um, you know, if you are doing something according to your tradition and practices that requires you to not rinse off afterwards, again, that's up to you. I, you know, I take the bath, I get out, you know, dry myself off, and I go. That's pretty much what I do. So, you know, there's, there's different practices where it's like, you know, you take these herbal concoctions, you, you know, rinse your body with them, and then you just, you know, you don't really dry off or rinse off or anything. You kind of set with that on you overnight. I've done that before. Um, you will need to change your sheets afterwards. Um, it, it, it ended up being very sticky due to the contents of what was in it. But, um, so yeah, that's just a little bit on how to use spirit baths spiritual baths, um, salt baths, milk baths, any kind. Um, you can even do it. I make some of the, some of the bubble baths I make. I have like a Florida water bubble bath. Some of the ones I have are a little more like, you know, I don't want to say mundane, but a little more all purpose, I guess is a, is a better word for it. So, you know, that's just how you, however you want to do it. There's really no prescribed way that you, you need to do these things. Um, you know, I was, you do you, <laughs> you know, whatever feels comfortable for you and, and, and stuff like that. You know, I don't particularly like to submerge myself under the water because I have very intensely colored hair and um, I've used like special shampoo and I also have to wash my hair in cold water. So not messing it up because my hairdresser will get mad at me. Hi, love. But um, so yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, do whatever makes sense to you in that set, in that area. Anyways, enjoy, enjoy taking a bath. I know I do. I already took one today and I'm kind of like, if, I, if the dishwasher wasn't running, I would take another one before bed. I'm, once we get into fall, winter, I turn into maybe like a two bath a day person. I really love baths. Anyways, don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.